Hi there. So today I'm going to show you how to do a super easy um, basketball cupcake topper. So you're going to need a knife of some kind. I'm using an X-Acto knife, but whatever you want to use. A ruler, a rolling pin, a uh, paintbrush and some water, and a round circle cookie cutter, um, and some orange and black fondant. So the first thing you want to do is roll out a little bit of the orange fondant. And if it's sticking, just put a little bit of um, cornstarch down on your mat um, and that will make it a little bit easier. So just want to roll it out. If you have a rolling pin with the guidelines, that makes it a little easier to get it even if you're not um, a very experienced cake decorator. And use your cookie cutter. I like to do a little twist and cut it out. And now at this stage, I personally like to let them dry overnight because I then find it makes them a little easier to work with. So I have one here that I have dried overnight. Um, and the next thing we do, you see how it's much stiffer and it's actually much easier to work with, especially if you're a beginner. Um, now we're going to cut out the little black lines and attach them on to the cake topper. So you want to get out a little bit of your black fondant and knead it so that it's uh, workable. What I'm going to do is roll it out with my rolling pin. All right, now once it's rolled out to the thickness you would like it, you can take your ruler, put it right on your fondant, and use your knife to cut a little bit of a strip. So now at this point, I'll just pull these apart and set this aside. And then you want it to be quite thin, so just kind of move the ruler, keep... There we go. So you've got a nice couple of thin strips. So keep doing that until you've got um, probably two or three kind of thin strips. And they don't have to be perfect. You know, they, they nobody's going to notice if they're slightly off. So just do your best to get them even. And we'll do one more. All right, once you have your strips, you wanna take your piece of fondant and put a tiny bit of water just right down the middle. And then you can take one of your strips and lay it down. And then what I will do is use my, you can use your circle cookie cutter to kind of trim the ends, but I find it's just as easy to use an X-Acto knife and just trim the ends. Now the next step, you want to put another black line right across the middle on the other side so you have a cross, basically. Now I'm going to place this right over the top and then I'm going to cut out the middle bit after because um, I think it makes it look a little bit tidier. So you can just push this down a little bit and then take your knife and just Slice, slice right on the sides of the other line, and you should be able to pull that piece right out and tap those other pieces of fondant down so you have a cross. Now the last stage would be to put on the circles, and we're going to do exactly the same process. We're just going to make it slightly curved. So I find it's easiest to put my water down first where I want it and in the shape I want it. So I'm going to take a little bit of water and put it in a little bit of a curve and careful not to actually get the water on the top of the black because then it'll stick. It'll be harder to pull it off. And then draw little lines. And I know this will be tough to see, but I'll kind of hold it up. I'm not sure if you can see where the water is, but that's where I'm then going to put my curves. So I'm going to take my last strip and I need this to be long enough for both of these curves. So I'm going to start you know, start using it very close to the end there. There we go. Push it down a little bit and then cut out that little piece in the middle. And then you do the second side.
There we go. And there you have it, all done. You just pop these right on top of your cupcakes and they look very professional and they were really simple and quick to make. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe and like. I'm gonna do a few more. I haven't been able to post in a long time because of COVID, but I'm hopeful to be able to do um, some more videos um, now that things have opened up a little bit. Um, so thank you for watching and um, I hope to see you again next time.